Hey guys, this is Kirob speaking and today we're back in Pro Soccer Manager 2019 with Enrico Chivaldori and this might very well be the last episode of this extremely long let's play. Well, it's how many episodes like 70 or something. I don't know when I'm recording this. Uh how many might this be? 67? 68? Doesn't matter. It doesn't fucking matter. 69 lol. <laughs> uh, anyway, we are um, on the last two stages of the Tour de France, and if we look at our race calendar, I think the only things that are coming afterwards are that one we haven't won yet. I've never raced it, so I think we are going to give this one a go as well, and then I'm going to advance all the way to the big final one. Yes. Yes, we're going to do this. And to remind everyone, the goal of this Let's Play was to create a rider that can win all five monuments. And this is the last one that we have um, not won yet. So, uh, and that was because we haven't participated in it yet. Um, <laughs> all right, let's get going with losing the Tour de France and then off to some classics. First up, the losing of the Tour de France, and this will um, take a long, about 33 kilometers. But uh, yeah, uh, we shall see how it goes. Maybe we have a plus five today, and we are winning it all. Who knows? It looks Ooh, okay, here we go. Here we go. What do we get? Uh, okay, so roll to zero. Right, we're not blessed with some uh, massive amounts of of good luck, are we? Hmm. And Alaphilippe isn't even a helper today. What are we going to do there? Like, have have the sprinter as our helper. Ah, I see, a cunning move. Alaphilippe is on the attack today. Well, okay, they they might be in a breakaway, but holy shit, they got wasted. <laughs> okay, there are eight riders in E1, and Alaphilippe is among them, but look at his r current resistance bar status. That's not looking great, is it? And we're down the other side, and next up is the second category climb. Yeah, not too scary. But then this beast of a climb is coming up. Oh, it's really several stages of the same climb. Oh! Oh shit, Tom Dumoulin has just fallen. Okay, we're not moving hard though, so, and he is like, king of downhill, so... Uh, oh, is he? Am I mixing that up? No, oh, they're moving hard. They are moving hard. Uh, uh, yeah, we're taking place up front. It's just 31 kilometers left. Oh, okay. Tom Dumoulin. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's not download ki downhill king. Download king. No, <laughs> download king. No, that that is uh, Kim.com. Um, but. Uh, he is certainly today a favorite. <laughs> Plus five race day condition. Holy shit, you guys. Man. They have some advantages here. Uh, yeah. He's probably going to just... Ah, five minutes on these uh, 10 SKPs. No problemo. Well, he wouldn't be saying that because he's some French. Alright, so far they are keeping a decent-ish pace. Uh, it's a little strenuous. But, seven, 17 kilometers left, oh my god. <laughs> There's a bit of a flat section coming up now, though. Oh, flat in air quotes. And Richie is going for another win. Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, he might might just be able to get it. Oh, Buddy is attacking. Some of the big guys are attacking. Can we? Can we go? No, we can't. This is a little too fast. Holy shit, now everyone is going. Ooh, no. Bob, Bob, wait a sec. Don't don't leave me alone, man. Uh, hang in there. You, you also get super leader. Like there. Here you go. Maybe that helps. Oh, my. Stop. What the fuck are you guys doing? Don't Don't move so hard. Don't move so hard. All right, 80 is enough. Uh, we are losing contact to them, are we? Nope, they have been slowed, slowed down. All right. Whew. We live to see another day, maybe. 
Let me activate the bar right now, because it's getting steep. Now body is going again. But these tempo, tempo changes are really killing you. And I'm not going with them. I'm just riding my 75. Seems to be working so far. And now we are on our own. The junkie is empty. Oh, and they're going again! No! Wait for me, guys! Wait for me! Three kilometers, out of which 500 meters are downhill. Okay, so 2.5 kilometers. No, I can't go faster than 80 here. No, oh, look at that! Ala Philippe is back. Hello there, mate. Oh, this is actually looking interesting. Might have a chance to... Nah. <laughs> no. Uh, resistance is way too low right now. Even though... Maybe. Maybe. This win is well uh, maybe this we can do something here. If uh, Enrico is following Alaphilippe. Alaphilippe is... Mm. Okay. Can't do anything. Then go. Go hard. Go hard. Accelerate. Accelerate up the, the hill. And... Oh no, Enrico is dead. Enrico is pretty dead. Yeah, we can't do anything here. <laughs> Just can't do anything. Sprint, Enrico. Sprint! Oh, they have a bit of a tempo advantage over the... Wow, they had such good race day conditions. My god. Whew, okay, so it ends. Uh, we have lost all our tempo advantage. Almost. Now we are thick legged. And we come in ninth? The race is is that ninth? No, tenth. But I think this means that we don't lose any more positions, do we? Oh, but they did take another few seconds and then I. But no one that is really relevant here, is there? No. Oh! Okay. Yeah, we, we can't get Bade anyway. So that's fine. And Roglic did lose time on me today. And now we are... Oh my god. For the final stage we only have 11 points on Grönewegen. Damn, that will be basically impossible to hold. Oh shit. Okay. Let's give it a go. Yeah, if we could somehow get points in the intermediate sprint, but he doesn't. That would be quite powerful. But, man, 50 points for first. Ooh, okay. He could easily win this one. So then we are fucked. If n no one of us gets any points here, which is unlikely, then it would be enough for him uh, for, for me to be right behind him if he doesn't get first. <laughs> Oh, no. Then <laughs> that doesn't sound great, does it? Plus three, okay. So we rolled a plus one. That at least is helping a little bit. 78 in sprint. 85 acceleration. That's helpful. 81 flat. There you go. Um, but yeah. This is a little cruel. Huh. We might try a breakaway at the tunnel? Maybe? That seems like... That's a, that's a long way to race, though, from there to to the sprint. That will take a lot of effort out of us. Should I try to follow and escape? <laughs> yeah, sure, they will let me go. No no worries. Uh, no, that won't happen. Um, although, I mean, I could give it one go. Right, let's see how quickly they are reacting. Uh, I don't know. No, they are not even racing anymore because I'm here. There's a few riders jockeying for position at the front. Oh, now they're following. Uh, some other riders are coming. No, no, I'm basically the dead weight in this. As soon as I latch on, they're like, nah, nah, mate. All right, we're not working. So let's let's skip this. This is not not working out. 
Oh, in general it is not working out, though. Oh, that is interesting. Uh, there are a few guys going again. But they are chasing them down, basically, instantly. No, we're coming up to this little tunnel thing. The incline at the other side. And the corner right after. Is this where we could try something? Because it looks like we are getting away for just a tiny bit. And then we really have to uh, to work to stay up front. Because they are chasing you down. Uh, I might... Oh, well. uh, how many How many up front? Just three riders? Four riders now. Okay, but not far. They are definitely not far. And this tunnel thing is coming up right now. So let's move into a better position. Maybe you can... Maybe he could accelerate us out of there. I mean, he's not... Not great today. So, let's use a super lead on him. And see what he can do. So, if we... Yeah, we are going down the hill now. I can't see shit. There they are. I think we want to be on the inside. Come on, Enrico. There we go. Do I have to... How far is this? It's so hard to tell. Uh, there they are coming out. That is very close by. So, if we go 99 now, Enrico in tow, then I think we could try to catapult us out of here. Uh, ca can you catapult, please? There we go. And if Enrico now launches his attack, should be able to break away. There we go. And now he's going dot and aerodynamics and 95 go 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 15 seconds 15 seconds that's pretty strong and here we go 27 seconds I just need to get to these guys I just need to get to these guys three kilometers left to go okay I, I'm I caught up I caught up. so now uh, can I... 35 seconds. Are they moving hard enough, is the question. I don't think they are. Alright, so... Uh, uh, is he blocking me? Yes, basically he is. You bastard. You bastard. Go, attack! Acceleration! There we go! And go... 95 again! Uh, yeah, I have to. Go, go 99 or something. Aerodynamics positioning! Go, 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 go! Oh, no. I, I think we get some points here. Cut, cut. No, you bastard. No, you bastard. No, you... N no. No way. I, I, okay. All right. Block him, block him, block him! No, fuck! <laughs> you fucking asshole! <laughs> Somehow he managed. Somehow he managed. Oh, I didn't even know he was in there. He probably sprinted from the pack. Man, okay, well, well played, I have to, to guess. That, uh, I guess I have to say. But, man, okay, that was that was a douche move. <laughs> it was such a beautifully timed attack, too. Ah, fuck that. So, everyone is caught again, and we are still leading, but by only nine points. Alright, we're coming up to the final tunnel passage. And that is a little too far out for us to attack, as we have seen. Uh, the Peloton is not tired enough to uh, let us go here. And I really need to take position up front. I want to accelerate. I can't see shit! This damn tunnel. Why can't I make it transparent or something? Uh, and now we don't see anything either. Alright, let's uh, move hard in case there are any attacks coming. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They are, they are going hard. Mm, are they attacking? Probably not. No, they're just going hard. Five kilometers left. Let's activate our bar. And come on, recuperate the red. 
So where is Grönewegen? Oh, he's up front. Okay. Maybe we should follow, follow Gav. He's looking uh, poised to strike. Oh, I think the sprint is starting early. Oh, are they going? Oh, I'm... Are you kidding me? Blocked me. He fucking blocked me. Oh, no. Oh, no. So now we are out on our own. And uh, basically I've lost because of the fucking block. Are you kidding me, you asset? Grönewegen is almost empty, though. Uh, uh, it's still 1.1 kilometers left. You need to, you need to fucking go. Come on, go, go, go. Banat, uh, Grönewegen is all the way up to the front. Ka ho, 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 go no! Oh, shit, he got it. No, he got it. <laughs> No! <laughs> In the end, it was centimeters. Oh, is that enough? Is that enough? Isn't that 20 and this is 18? In that case, I think we might have it. Holy shit, that was close. Yes, 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 yes. I, I, I think, I think we got it. I think we got it. Let's have a look at the results. And in the end, <laughs> it was... Uh, Grönewegen got 37 and we got 33. Yes, that means we got a, a 7 points. <laughs> yes! <laughs> oh, <laughs> we did get the points jersey. Oh man, that was that was so damn close. I thought that was it when... Where is this? this absolute bastard of a rider yeah he's nowhere to be seen and I, I know why because uh, Enrico would slap him like a proper Italian would man oh man this dude has some some nerves just block us out completely like this but that was the turn of France for you so let's have a final look nothing changed here of course um, Egan Bala won because he is overpowered in the mountains and Tom Dumoulin couldn't match him. That's kind of strange. Should have gotten him in the time trials. Maybe he had some uh, bad luck with race day condition bias. Uh, no, not the bias. The actual race day condition. Uh, Bardi, despite his lack of time trial, manages to um, to get to top three. Very nice. Roglic, not quite strong enough in the mountains. Enrico, not quite strong enough in the mountains. He made up for a lot of it by uh, winning stages and getting bonus seconds that way. Uh, and some uh, beautiful attacks in the uh, early phases of the race, of course. So, um, fourth. There. Perfect. Um, first. Awesome. And, well, that didn't, didn't quite pan out, right? Uh, we didn't get any mountain points, really. And second, of course, in the Young Rider jersey. Not a bad Tour de France. Not a bad Tour de France at all. Gran Premio San Sebastian. Yes, that one is quite to our liking. Uh, looks like a solo attack effort there. And we are among the favorites. But uh, yes, yes, overall quite a challenging race. Um, it's not a monument, but it is a race that we have not won yet. And I would like to give it a go. Okay, zero race day condition. Ooh, I don't think we are going to defeat the Bob today. That is a tall order. <laughs> An order that is too tall. But we might be able to hang with him. And if that is the case, then we can out sprint him. And you, mate, you're dead. Holy shit, you're dead. Why are you even here? You should be in bed. Fuck me, minus 5 at 51, minus 16, <laughs> that's probably the lowest I've ever seen. Well, nothing happening so far, 11 riders up front, 5 minutes, 11 on the clock, and we're just gliding along. They haven't upped the tempo yet. Let's have a quick look at these climbs, though. Whew, really some steep ones in there, or well, all of them, basically. <laughs> now they have properly upped the tempo. Fuck me, they have really upped the tempo. Or is this just... No, it's not because it's just super steep. We just have up the tempo. 
Yeah, I've activated my slippery snake uh, feet because I don't want to get caught out by someone who has a fat ass and is going a lot slower on the sidelines. So, yeah, that worked out. We are across the top here. They definitely have up to speed. And uh, now it is full on race mode. And this climb coming up is scary. It's really scary. 6.6 kilometers long. But okay, yeah, the first four kilometers is what counts. And that looks like it's on average 11% uh, or something, or 12. Of course, 85 limited. But so far, we are just oh, fat asses. Uh, so far, we are just uh, hanging in. And we have the worst over with right now. No, no, there's another steep section. Um, not quite there. Almost there. Yeah, just gliding along at 85. Pretty nice. Cool. So now it's just two smaller ones left. And the next one is coming. The uh, start of this one is just like the final climb. And then we take a different exit. Uh, up on top, and instead of going down here, we continue up a bit. So this will be interesting to see for the final climb, so that we are prepared. Um, let's get to the front, set it to 90. Um, maybe go manually to the front, because we don't want to waste any time. Yeah, okay, that was good. And do we initialize here? Not quite yet. So let's keep it down. Go 70 or something, or less, 50, and then once it, the road rises, we go 85, because that is the minimum speed they're going to go up here. Right, the first one wasn't that bad. It's pretty short, short and sweet. Um, you are suffering a little, but yeah, it's Enrico 85, so that's respectable and there are the SKPs so this is super steep 19% up here this would be where an attack has to happen this ramp right here before the turn and you need to save some red for this ramp otherwise you are going to lose lots of time and yeah we're not going to let it rip across here just yet Oh, the Peloton ripped, though. That's interesting. Some guys caught out of position. Alright, we're getting close. We're getting close. I don't quite know where I want my bar to be active. I have probably for the most of the climb. That would be the wisest choice. So, let's move up. We do have plenty of resistance for all this. And let's trigger the bar right about now I would think and back up a little bit with the uh, the power output um, this is looking decent yes we're leading into the steepness that is good because that means we are not wasting any meters and accelerate right at the start yes okay they are going hard they're going super hard even um, do I want to do anything here? Probably not. These guys are a little behind me. And yes, okay, I squeezed squeezed out in front of them. That's good. I want to wait for my um want to wait for my bar to kick in. Oh no no, you you get blocked just like uh, I was I was taught um back in the Tour de France on the final stage. Um and now yeah, you're irrelevant anyway. Kwiatkowski is very much not irrelevant, though. But you see how much he had to spend in order to get here. Just to get to my position. So that's good stuff. Where is my bar? That needs to kick in very, really soon. So, there we go. Oh, now we have a nice situation. Come on, bar. <laughs> Come on, bar. Come on. Go 90. Be efficient. There's a little gap. Where is it? Ah, oh, fuck. Come on. There, oh, there it is. Okay. Go 99 without attacking? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Exactly. With the bar that is super powerful. Yes, and we have bar left for the ramp. 19 seconds? Where is everyone? 
Only the junkie. Well, the junkie can follow no problems. Um, so we're going hard. And I, I don't need to attack. This is all good. Don't need to attack. Yeah, and we get around the bend and still had red bar for all of it. There we go. So now into the downhill. Go 99 into the downhill and then we activate our... Come on, come on, come on, can we, can we activate? Shit, we can't activate, can't activate our super downhill skill. We are shitted down, oh, there we go. Super descender. Oh, that's a sharp corner. Ooh, 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 shit. That's a little too much. Okay, go 99 instead. Go 99. And aerodynamics? But I know this finish. Like this. Maybe there's different different classics run on here? Or maybe I remember it from uh, another Let's Play? Maybe we have won this one. Can't remember. You, you will probably correct me on this. Uh, anyway, I'm going to activate my aerodynamic positioning. Because we will soon need it. And we have 34 seconds. They're not going to get that. Uh, especially not like this. So, 90, go 95. Super efficient. 3 kilometers. Power mode. Uh, 2.4 kilometers. We can go harder than this. Go 99. Yes. Yeah, no one is going to get us. That is powerful time trialing here. Time trialing you can't do. And we lose some speed here, but that doesn't matter. 50 seconds. What a massive victory. And then Michael Matthews takes a second in front of uh, Mikhail Kwiatkowski. We totally bopped the bob, and that is one more mark on our list of victories. And now we have made it to the World Championships. I, of course, forgot about those. So um, I think what we are going to do here is call this an episode. Uh, by the way, we've, uh, I, I've completely forgot to join a team, so all the contracts have been running out. And Movie Star was the last one to... Uh, to put in an order so I accept it so we would be racing for movie star next season but um, anyway we have these two left and there's no no favorite no this is not my favorite race ah oh, too bad um yeah we have the world championships left and Lombardia and I think what we're going to do is wrap this episode up here right here and the next episode have a big celebration hopefully <laughs> to, to win the um Grand Premio di Lombardia. Is that the, the name? Yes. Yeah, it's right there, Killer Rob. You're fucking blind. All right. I hope you enjoyed and see you guys next time.